All right. Hi again, everyone. So we are back, and I am with Bavin. Hi, Bavin. How are you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm I'm doing well. You will you will note that I now have an extra layer because I I was absolutely frozen in the first half of uh, this year's Emacs Conf. But now hopefully I, wish, I should start getting a little warmer. Usually I'm more stressed, you know, when we only have one track and we only have about two minutes between every talk. I need to run all the time. And even though we are in the dead of winter in Europe, usually I'm pretty warm. But today I am so relaxed that I have the mental availability to be cold. But anyway, this is not about me. This is about you, Bavin. Um, so for the new joiners, newcomers to the chat, we do have a pad where you can ask questions. And we are primarily looking at this pad for the questions. What we'll do afterwards is that we'll open up this current room in which we are. And we will um, allow you to ask questions directly with, to Bavin. And it's a subject, you know, user group that is very close to Sasha and my heart because we've done a lot of work towards it and I will, might have some knowledge to contribute afterwards. But for now, I'd prefer if we heard about Bavin. Uh, so Bavin, take it away. Yep. Oh, I see one question. Um, what about using on multiple computers? I think that's not related or I'm not sure what it is about. So, I'm not yeah, sure. I'll I'll just, yeah, I'll switch to the next one. Uh, what about collaborative editing with this uh, multiple computers with Emacs like CRDT or with all? Okay, uh, I think there's something weird going on. Uh, I'll, I'll give you just a second. I'll just pick up the relevant one in that case. Um, sure, thank you. <laughs> thoughts on physical meetups. We are yeah, getting... so uh, this year, I think a few months back, I had thought of doing it. Um, but the way right now it is, at least in my region, uh, the yes. community is comparatively small. So usually right now the model is working is basically the remote one. And we get people from some people from, I think, China, some people from Australia. So we get to have couple of people and good discussions usually. Uh, whereas for physical meetups, what I've been thinking is maybe one off meetup can be physical. Let's say uh, you come together, similar to people have been watching Emacs Conf uh, this year, right? So something like uh, you come together, uh, do the online meetup first, and then networking and discussions can happen offline. So that was one of my idea. Maybe I'll try it uh, with Emacs APAC sooner or later, and we'll see how it goes. So that's the current plan about physical meetups. And uh, in terms of if you ask me thoughts, uh, they are good too. So you get to talk with people face to face. You got to make more connections. So yeah, I might experiment some mixed way of doing it, right? Uh, once in a while, you meet or otherwise you do it online so that people who are not able to join in uh, or travel to that particular area or region, they can just join online. Yeah, it's a very interesting topic, uh, physical meetups, because we, um, so I participate in uh, one of the workshop, uh, Emacs Paris, and we used to have uh, in-person meetups in Paris, and usually there were about five to 10 people showing up, which was a good number. But when COVID happened and we moved to virtual meetings, we started, started having a lot more people. Now we are averaging about 15 to 20 people at every session, and it's amazing. But the problem is, you know, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm, I'm knocking on wood really hard, but now that COVID is a little easier to manage and that a lot of people are returning to uh, in-person meetings, it's a little more complicated really to, to say, do we go back to physical meetings, even though we have more people on a virtual meeting? It causes us to ask many questions about so what do we want those meetings to be, really? And uh, we need to think about this in 2023 with the organizers of Emacs Paris. And I think I think Emacs SF also was in a process of thinking about, you know, SF for San Francisco, sorry, was in the process of thinking about how to go back to physical venues. And I think right now, the uh, the consensus amongst amongst a lot of work, uh, workshop user group organizers 
is that they would like to have both. So if it was a monthly meeting before, why not have a physical meeting every month and a virtual meeting every month as well on a two week um, cycle? So that's a lot more work, obviously. It's not, it's not choosing, it's choosing to- I see that coming. <laughs> yes. So, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure how big the, uh, the pool of people you have in Emacs APAC actually is, but it feels like it's a much larger area than, say, Emacs Paris for France. So exactly. you, you should try it, even though. That, that might yeah, be exactly. So mm, so uh, in India, right, uh, there is the region which is Maharashtra, Pune. It is like one end. And across, maybe you can say 500, 600 kilometers radius, you have many other cities where more people are there. So having all of them at one place is basically a event like conference or something uh, monthly meetup probably not so uh, there is one more meetup group i managed not related to emacs but we had same question what to do now uh, we have many people joining and joining us throughout the state and should we have a meetup in one city only so yeah i think we'll have to experiment and see yeah, but it's fun to experiment, you know, it's fun to have. We know that we have interested people all around the world, like uh, Babin showed you uh, the type of workshop that we can have and how to run your own, but we already have many workshops around the world. It wasn't the case if you go back three years ago. I think, if I, I'm completely spitballing now, but I think we had about five user groups worldwide three years ago, and now we must have something like 12, 13, 14 even, which is a massive increase when you think about it. And now that Bavin has provided you with the tools to do just the same and start your own uh, workshop, and also you have the body system of Andrea that you saw earlier today, you have more options than, than ever to be able to meet people talking about Emacs. Now, there's obviously Emacs Conf as well, which is helping, and we have a lot of lovely talks to share with you, but I think it's better, or it's a, it's a good compliment to have a monthly checkup with people who might feel a little closer to you. Either, and closer can have multiple definitions, you know, it can be closer in terms of proficiency with Emacs, or it can be closer geographically, which makes it easier, or culturally, which will make it easier to converse with people. Um, we do have a yep. question about hybrid meetings. Yep. Uh, do you want to take this one, Bavin? It's uh, related yep. to what we're talking about. Yep, 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 yeah. So, I tried it, uh, not with the Emacs one, but with the other one I organized. Um, and even I had some thoughts. Uh, the only problem is what happens, the people who are joining virtually, they usually end up feeling uh, left out. Uh, because people who are in the room, they might be discussing something face to face. Yeah. They might have some discussions. Uh, the only way I think would work is everyone joins the online link from their own machines. Uh, you do your regular meetup discussions. And after that, you have some discussions. Because uh, otherwise, one side or other side will end up feeling left out. Uh, rather than doing it, I'll just keep it one or other, uh, either completely virtual or completely in person. Yeah, I, I think it is really complicated to do a hybrid stream well. It like I told you the figures of the people we had, which was roughly between five to 15 people at most in physical venues. Right now, by the way, we should probably say hi to the people in Switzerland who are currently watching Emacs Cons uh, in a very nice warm room. I'm, th I'm, th I'm thinking warm first because I'm cold, but it's not really warm in terms of the weather inside the room, but also warm in terms of the people around it. So hi, everyone. Um, but yeah, hybrid meet meetings pretty much take the attention of two people entirely. One to manage the physical venue and one to manage the virtual interactions. And generally, those two people would be core organizers of the event. And that takes a lot of energy. And I think people are a little scared to do such events because you also need to manage webcams, you need to manage presentation, how to take questions, how to relay audio. And frankly, as someone who organizes or help organize Emacs Conf every year, I can tell you that there can be plenty of wrong going on with audio setup, video setup, and making sure that everyone is being listened to. But yep. ultimately, we are sharing those tools. So maybe we could share the tools used for Emacs Conf 
for people to actually start running their own workshop that would be interesting uh that's uh yep. but please yep. don't send me an email asking for this uh, I, I i need to rest <laughs> <laughs> so okay. uh, yeah, there is one i think thought yeah yeah one thought in the irc uh it is about uh the time it takes for me to organize the meetup so what i have done is uh creating the announcement uh posting it at at least on the website i have automated it so at times even i forget that when is the meetup and all but my automation takes care of uh, creating the online uh, website entries announcements and all so that saves me a lot of time and lot of uh, uh, cognitive load i should say i don't have to remember i have to announce it and uh, what happens is uh, i do plan to un uh, automate more things like announcements on irc announcements on mastodon and stuff so that will save a lot more time but usually that basically means i don't have to do much stuff before the meetup it's like 15 to 20 minutes and during the meetup obviously i attend along with everyone else and post meetup it might take more time but i haven't worked on uh, processing or collecting the video and publishing those so maybe add more let's say 30 minutes or so so yep yeah there is definitely something to be said about how do we use the workshops to make content that last after the workshop it's a discussion we've been having with some of the workshop uh, organizers i remember mostly emax sf again and also emax paris we were talking about yes we record the sessions but you know we share the sessions only with members of the event what if we have a really great presentation it would be such a shame to leave it live merely on the bbb record server where only users can see it no it's actually much better if we could find a way to share it on youtube for instance or any other distribution platform where people would be able to share this like we you know with emacs conf we share all the talks that happened in prior years what if we could have you know user groups and workshop do the same that would be amazing but i think people are feeling a little iffy and rightfully so this is a lot of energy to first make presentations like this for the speakers but then to package them to caption them for accessibility you know we are able to broadcast talk this year with captions uh with no little thanks to bavin who is actually helping us a lot behind the scenes working on the subtitles so thank you again so much bavin for all this but Davin, you will be the first to tell. This is a lot of work, actually. I'm not sure how much time you've spent in the last two months working on subtitles, but you know it's been a long time. Yeah, it, it does take time, so that's why I'm still not sure how much time it will take for me to get those uh, talks or recordings out, right? But uh, as a first step, I, like I mentioned in the uh, talk as well, just get it out first, and then work towards refining it. Yeah, that's uh, that's the usual saying that you know, uh, good is better than perfect, or here and there is better than later and never. So I think that's a that's a very good plan here. So Bavin, we have about five more minutes until we need to head into the next talk. We have opened the chat room, so if people want to join and ask questions with Bavin, mostly if you're interested in running your own workshop, I mean this would be a golden opportunity to converse with Bavin and see how you could get started on this, or maybe if you want to. You know, find people interested in installing a workshop. Uh, maybe not in BBB today, but it'd be interesting for you to connect on the pad or wherever else, really, to be able to see. Oh yeah, I want to start. Uh, uh, I want to start an Emacs Michigan meeting or whatever. Not sure why I defaulted to Michigan. Don't ask me. But you know, you would be able to find maybe other people willing to do so, and that'd be great. Why don't you stop moving my hands like this? This is the one gesture I'm doing today, and I need to pluralize it a little bit um so the do we have any more questions on the pad i think no mm, not on pad i think there are two questions in irc i'll just quickly answer them uh, sure. one is about automation so uh i have my repository the website repository on gitlab and they provide something called pipelines so you can just schedule things and i have a cron job you can say sort of on their platform itself which goes and gets triggered uh, on certain days and my script basically takes care of 
publishing a new uh, blog entry basically and uh, there was one question what is i look see so it is a uh, gnu linux user group uh, from chennai india so yeah i think i have been using their uh, mailing list and there there have been couple of people from that uh, part of the country who joined the meetup as well Yeah, and we're definitely trying to make Emacs user group a thing. Like Lug, Linux user group, has been a thing for decades at this point. And if only we could manage to make... I mean, the thing, it doesn't sound as well. A yug? <laughs> well, <never laughs> even it's probably, probably the worst argument in its favor, really. But Emacs user group feels like it should be something that you know, is widely adopted as much as Linux user groups. Because when you think about yeah. it, you know, whether it be Linux or whether it be Emacs, those groups are where a lot of people get to experiment with those tools and learn, especially a lot of beginners who make it to those meetings. They get propelled in the future in terms of how much they learn, and it's so much better. You probably heard more about this in the uh, Android talk we had earlier today. Right, I'm blabbering on about, but it's a very, it's a topic very dear to my heart, and I'm so glad, Davin, that you managed to feel it. You managed to feel, sorry, uh, a topic and a pre um, presentation. Sorry, I'm mixing up everything there. <laughs> uh, we will soon be moving on to the next stream. So I see that we have a couple of people still on BBB, but no one with a microphone. So again. When we open the BBB chat room, if you want to join and ask questions, it's all the better. It's good if you want to join and listen, but we need people to actually be asking questions because that's, you know, that's when we have the speaker in one room and you can gather all the questions. By the way, if sometimes it's, I'm going to give you a little secret. If sometimes it doesn't sound like I'm making any sense, it's because on one here, I am listening to Bavin. Okay, that's the left here. On the right here, I'm listening to production. And sometimes stuff is burning in the background and I have to act. You know, I have to take a deep breath and focus on, right now, for instance, everyone is talking in my hair. It's really complicated. So what I'll, what I'll be doing is that in about 1 minute and 20 seconds, we'll be moving into the next talk. Uh, Bavi, thank you so much for taking the time to answer all the questions. Uh, you'll probably be uh, sleeping fairly soon, right? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, please don't feel like it will help us in the backstage. But yes, thank you so much for all your help for Emacs content. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, as for the others, uh, we are about to move to the next talk in about one minute. So there's going to be a bit of an awkward pause again. Sorry for this. But at the top of the next minute, we'll be starting with the next talk. Um, see you in a bit, I suppose. And thank you again, Bavin. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for organizing the event. It has been fun. And thank you for participating in it. <laughs>